What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We're back with some screw face. This time we're checking out his latest screwed up uh, off a of Stormzy remix. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Yeah. Uh, turn captions on for lyrics. You know what, man? How about we not, right? Let's listen to this like the old, like, like, like originally that it was supposed to be heard, right? When artists write down these lyrics and everything and they start spitting stuff out here, it's, it's, it's meant to be heard, you know what I mean? So let's use our ears for this. Let's try to catch some of these bars using our ears. Um, I know especially, you know, Screw's big in a, in a nerd core and he, of course he has fans outside of that. Fans outside of that know that nerd, uh, Screw's been making music for a very, very long time. Those type of people, the fan base that he's built outside of the nerd core know to listen with their ears because I don't think Screw has always been put stuff up with lyrics. Um, but, you know, uh, Nerdcore and other people got used to seeing lyrics on it. Now's a good time to kind of train your ears to kind of listen for this, because I swear on everything, you'll catch a lot more once you train your ear to listen out for stuff. Now, with that being said, watch me be trash. <laughs> Shout out to all my UK brethren. And the UK, huh? <laughs> but this man done turned up the contrast to a million up on this video, bro. <laughs> He said, he said, I'm swole out here, y'all. I'm tired of seeing all them pics on Twitter. Let me show you what it really look like, y'all. <laughs> that boy got that. He got them, uh, the Mr. Olympia, a little oil and everything. Big <laughs> Tang, Michael Jordan 6 ring, him king. Listen how we rip tanks. Him sing, but he could have flipped things. Him smart, chose all 16s like the Sistine. His dream is... 16, six rings, 16, okay. Sistine, mm -hmm. Okay. Listen how we rip tanks. Him sing, but he could have flipped things. You kind of hear that. Um, now, obviously, he's been on a um, the UK, right? He's been listening to a whole lot of UK artists. Uh, so, the only you know, this this looks to more be like more respect and everything. Using words like tings and stuff like that. Um, different type of uh, um, language, right? Or just the way they say things. So, like a paying homage to that. Tim Smart chose all 16s like the Sistine. His dream is to spit things in the get cream with his thing in a get rich quick scheme. Bitch, please, I need it quick as it can be. If this my shot, I gotta take it with an MP. So that's that that's interesting. That's that his dream is to quit spit a quick 16 for his dream and everything. But Screw said, nah, you know, you, you know, he he kind of gave it that that reference that, you know, if he gonna shoot, he gonna make sure it hits. He ain't gonna just start sparing a whole lot of stuff and just have you feel it for that moment. If he starts spraying every not spraying, well, when he starts shooting, he gonna make sure I absolutely stick. So everything he about to say about to have that maximum impact. Sing, but he could have flipped things. Him smart chose all sixteens like the Sistine. His dream is to spit things in the get cream with his thing in a get rich quick scheme. Bitch, please, I need it quick as it can be. If this my shot, I gotta take it with an MP. If I miss, I'm a snap snap. Get the whack out the back, back pack and go. Fap, fap. I'm so sick, I need a hazmat. I'm so ahead of you. This kid is incredible, like Jack Jack. Critical. No six or six. I need a hazmat. What you put on? You know what I'm saying? Uh, get that contamination. Okay. The back, black pack and go. Fat, fat. I'm so sick. I need a hazmat. I'm so ahead of you. This kid is incredible. Like Jack Jack. I'm the one you niggas laughed at. Remember after class when you said I fail in my rap swag? Now you gotta kiss my black ass. Cause I got mad cash. My best ass is the cash app. Am I the best with this rap craft? <laughs> the matter niggas forecast ass. <laughs> you want war? We can have that. Watch the outcast outlast when his bombs over Baghdad. Outcast outlast when his bombs over Baghdad. Outcast got a song. Bomb. I'm sorry bombs over back that yo any of my uh og nba live players because i believe the one that was on um playstation had that song on there and honestly if it wasn't for that game i don't think i would have heard that song because i wasn't listening to a lot of outcast like i heard it was on the radio but i wouldn't listen to a lot of outcast but they got a song called bombs over back that so Niggas for cast ass. You want war, we can have that. Watch the outcast outlast when his bombs over back that. And it's interesting. Watch an outcast outlast. So basically when the heat is coming, he gonna stay, you know, he gonna he gonna still be here. You niggas play the game in mad lag. If you don't get it out your system, I'ma suck it, then your ass crash. Scratch that, I'ma mute ya. They stumped you out last time. They'll make the niggas reboot ya. And I ain't talking about computers, I'm talking about the looters, the boosters, the shooters, recruiting the reboot. <laughs> Don't don't make them read. Last time, don't make the niggas read boot ya. And I ain't talking about computers, I'm talking about the looters, the boosters, the shooters, recruiting the youth to be moving with Rugas. They send them the chef and more hand them an F and the shoot them. So reboot, right? It's, it's, it's that continual. Bro, he, he he's spitting re reboot the continual vicious cycle of uh if i'm if i'm not mistaken, he's talking about continuous visual cycle, visual cycle of, of of violence, right? 
reboot you, give you the stuff that you need. Say, go on, go out there. And then once it completes, just grab somebody else. Just the boost of the shooters recruiting the youth to be moving with Ruger. They send them to chef and more hand them an F and shoot them. And stupid, the truest can see that it's foolish. The way that we do it is breaking our movement. You can't see the face, I can't wait to remove it. You can't see the snakes when we face them, but It's crazy, some say that we made to just do it. Other people say they making us do it. Either way, we got to make some improvements because this shit is hell and they taking us through it. I'm that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, right? When you have like that's that's what I'm saying, right? Instead of contributing to it, man, talk. I mean, if you're gonna contribute and everything, then at least at least put something positive in there. That that's what I like to hear. Screw. That's what's up. The people say they making us do it. Either way, we gotta make some improvements because this shit is hell and they taking us through it. You see how he said some people say they making us do it. So he said he said either way, regardless of how this is happening, we got to make those changes. I advise you guys to go kind of, um, especially those of, you know, the black community to go listen to a killer Mike. Some of the stuff he preach is a, is, is a little bit super far fetched and everything, but he has ground when it comes to the type of improvements that we can make in our black community. If we just simply come together, it's crazy. Other people say they making us do it. Either way, we got to make some improvements because this shit is hell and they taking us through it. I'm making a move. Start facing jacuzzi, waving a Uzi. Call the blick or the stick 1946. Yeah, cause this baby is booming, baby. Alright. Alright, okay, screw. Boomers, baby boomers. I'm guessing I don't know for a fact if 1946 was the age that boom, you know, you everybody knows the terms boomers, right? It was an age or a, a specific time where the population increased by a lot, like a whole lot, hence the term boomer, baby boomers, but also, you know, gun when his baby is booming. Bar. Okay, it's a bar. We gotta make some improvements because this shit is hell and they taking us through it. I'm making a move. Start facing jacuzzi, waving a Uzi. Call the blick or the stick 1946. Yeah, cause this baby is booming. Baby, I do this. Before I make excuses, point where the noose is. Cause that's not how we do this. And the truth is, motherfucker, I would die for this music. True shit. I ain't really with the red and blue shit. Cause the main color is black. Don't be clue. I'm sicker than lupus. A coughing with mucus. Disagree, you can eat a Frank like Lucas. Frank, you can eat a Frank like Lucas. You can eat a Frank like Lucas. I like that. He said, he said, you know, and in, 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 I feel like when it, especially when it comes to like the, uh, you know, the hip hop genre. I remember, I remember when I was getting straight, I was getting into nerdcore. Like I got a couple of nerdcore songs that are out. <clears throat> and I was, you know, when I was trying to show, you know, this other guy that I was working with, he does a lot of, you know, he raps as well. And, you know, I was sitting there having fun and everything. Um, but one thing I noticed when he was telling me, yeah, I showed him some of my music. He was like, yeah, that's cool. And he asked me a question that just, that just piqued my interest. He said, he said this and stick with me. He looked at me with a serious face and he said, you rap for fun, don't you? That's what he said. So what I got from that was that that wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that it was bad. It was just that some people actually rap like they like depend on it. Right. I, and, and. And it was made very, very clear that he, you know, he respect me and everything, but he couldn't mess with my music because he didn't hear that. And that's what that's what Screw is hinting at here, to, uh, hinting here towards is that he said he would die for this music. He's 100 percent in. OK, main color is black. Don't be clueless. Sicker than lupus. I like that. The main color is black. Don't be clueless. Again, separation. Coughing with mucus, disagree, you can eat a Frank like Lucas. You can't see mine's them, my influence. Her holiday movements, just a little screwish. Hey man, that's some cool shit. What you think would happen after all these years snapping on the music? See reactions are cool, kid. See that that I like that. He said, what do you think would happen? Right? Progression. That's the only thing that could happen. Honestly, you you got you gotta you have to have progress. Like it's almost to the point to where if you go back and you look at yourself, right? Just just speaking real, if you go back and you look at yourself. It's two years from now, you compare your music and you don't hear any progress or you hear somebody else tell you that you don't hear any progress, then what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey man, that's some cool shit. What you think would happen after all these years snapping on the music? See, reactions are cool, kid. But with these raps, I be grooving. So with the rapper or reactor or a motherfucking actor, I'm screwing. I'll always be cool, bitch. Okay. Um. And this is, this is you know, the whole entire thing of... um. I'm sitting here thinking about uh, Tom McDonald's, uh, his song, I Hate Hip Hop. And 
he, he the, the number one thing that he said in there was that he, he didn't have to make reactions to sell his music there he said it and i was you know it was you know it's like oh snaps you know he's taking shots at first i thought he was taking shots at me as a reactor but he's taking shots at other rappers and, and everything and I, I thought that was a little i was like all right you know, that was a bar but I, I i thought it was a little bit silly you know to say that like like you like you can't enjoy stuff. You can't enjoy music. Why? Why does it have to end at reactions? Right. I, you know, I'm not necessarily a rapper or something, but I do consider myself a student of music. So if if I like music, then obviously I'm going to want to do everything involved in it. But um, but but what he was insinuating was that the only reason why he was doing it was to move, uh, you know, move attention. To their music and honestly to tell you the truth it's, it's it's not that it's not a bad marketing strategy at all when it comes to marketing yourself a lot of people kind of put out the music and then they expect then they then they, they put out the music first right and then they expect the audience to come but the the, the, the crucial thing that's missing um when it comes to those type that type of marketing is that if you just put out the music but you don't increase the value within yourself Right. Then that music is going to fall. Sometimes, you know, sometimes that music is going to fall flat. So when I look at reactions, especially when I look at artists like artists that do reactions, what they're doing is they're increasing the value upon themselves by demonstrating their knowledge and everything. And I feel like that's going to translate to sales. It's going to translate to interest into your own music because you've increased the value about yourself and that's the critical thing right i honestly think that most artists should do reactions get out there tell people what you about foster that community and everything have fun with them and then before you know it you see your numbers are just growing and growing and growing and that's because they care about you now right not just about your music so that's my thought on rappers or any type of artist that also do reactions i don't see the problem with it and it's for those reasons i just mentioned <laughs> This man just having fun out here, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all. I know I said the Worldwide Cypher was going to be the last song I dropped on this page. This right here, good this screwed song. up going to be the last screwed up I drop on this page. So I need everybody who supports my music to go to the Screwface Jean Media page. It's going to be somewhere here. I need you to subscribe somewhere. to it because from now on, that's where the music is going to go. The YouTube algorithm has made it almost impossible to be able to drop music on this page and do reactions at the same time. So mm -hmm. we got to split them up. I mm -hmm. need y'all to go support that page. Go uh, subscribe to it. We almost have 30,000 subscribers already. Let's get it. Get this video to 10,000 thumbs up. Did we get it to 10,000? Oh, y'all got it to 11,000. Well, I thought I was already subscribed, but I may not be subscribed. Oh, no, I'm not. All right. Yeah, I'm so we're going to go ahead, you know, this is, we're going to go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I like this. He was spitting some real stuff in there, uh, addressing some issues as well. And he did it all in two minutes and 55 seconds. So it was a good screwed up screw. That's the end of this video. Actually, it was a screwed up. Nah, so it ain't even a screwed up. This was just, this was just, this, this was just a song. Okay. Unless it was a screwed up. I'm, I'm not too sure. It don't matter. It was fire. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.